Who can tell me what this is? It looks like a pacemaker. It is. So quickly tell me the different types of pacemaker. Sure, well, why don't we blast through some high-yield pacemaker knowledge? But first, here's an ECG of a patient with a pacemaker, and I want you to tell me in the comments below which chamber is being paced. Is it the atria or the ventricles? Spend less time studying and remember more for longer with Never Forget Cardiology. Just comment sneak peek for some free pages. We'll keep it simple. Pacemakers kick in to keep the heart beating at a normal rate. They're using conditions which mess up the electrical conduction system, such as heart block, heart failure, and arrhythmias. Let's broadly go over the main pacemakers you need to know for your exams. A single lead pacemaker has one lead and it tends to sit in the right ventricle. It can both sense the rhythm and pace as well. A dual lead pacemaker has two leads. This time there's a second lead which sits in the right atrium. Next is cardiac resynchronization therapy. This pacemaker has three leads. It tends to be used in heart failure to improve cardiac output. It does that by synchronizing the left and right ventricle better. That third wire is passed through the coronary sinus. It's threaded through until it rests on the left ventricle. This one's also known as a biventricular pacemaker. And next is an implantable cardio defibrillator. This device is similar to the last one, but there's a big difference. They're typically used in those with life-threatening arrhythmias and they can deliver a shock. If you see a lead on a chest x-ray which looks like this, then it's probably an ICD. Ready to see the next patient? You're gonna have to follow me to come and see them.